Teeth whitening works by using a bleaching agent to remove or reduce the appearance of surface stains on the tooth enamel. The science behind this process is based on the principles of oxidation. The most commonly used bleaching agents in teeth whitening are hydrogen peroxide and carbamide peroxide. These agents work by breaking down into free radicals which then penetrate the enamel and react with the stain molecules. This reaction causes the bonds between the stain molecules to break down which results in a lighter, less concentrated stain. It's important to note that not all stains can be removed through teeth whitening. Some types of stains, such as those caused by certain medications or intrinsic tooth discoloration, may not respond well to this treatment. Tooth whitening involves lightening the color of the tooth by removing or reducing stains and other discolorations. To understand how tooth whitening works, it's important to understand the anatomy of the tooth. The outermost layer of the tooth is called enamel. It's a hard, protective layer that covers the visible part of the tooth. Enamel can become discolored due to staining from food, drink, and other external factors. Dentin is the layer underneath the enamel. It's a yellowish substance that makes up the majority of the tooth and is responsible for the natural yellow color of the tooth. The pulp is the innermost layer of the tooth and contains nerves, blood vessels, and connective tissue. Tooth whitening works by either removing or breaking down the discoloration on the enamel or by altering the color of the dentin. There are several methods of tooth whitening, including in-office whitening procedures and take-home whitening kits, which typically use hydrogen peroxide or carbamide peroxide as the active ingredient. These substances penetrate the enamel and dentin and break down the discolorations, resulting in a brighter, wider smile. What causes tooth discoloration? Certain foods and drinks, such as coffee, tea, red wine, and dark-colored fruits and vegetables, can stain your teeth over time. Smoking and using tobacco products can cause yellowing and brown discoloration of the teeth. As you get older, your teeth naturally yellow and become less vibrant. Injuries to the mouth can cause tooth discoloration, especially if they result in the death of the tooth's nerve. Some antibiotics and other medications can cause tooth discoloration as a side effect. Certain dental restorations, such as silver amalgam fillings, can darken the teeth over time. Some people are simply more prone to tooth discoloration than others, regardless of lifestyle factors. Poor oral hygiene practices, such as not brushing and flossing regularly, can lead to the buildup of plaque and tartar, which can discolor your teeth. It's important to keep in mind that these factors can interact with each other and exacerbate tooth discoloration, so it's best to maintain good oral hygiene and minimize exposure to staining agents whenever possible.